When the church summons Christians to take up the task of evangelization, she is simply pointing to the source of authentic personal fulfillment. For here, we discover a profound law of reality. That life is attained and matures in the measure that is offered up in order to give life to others. This is certainly what mission means. It's wonderful. Uh, I come here uh, two years ago, and the medical part helped me. And it turned out I was stage three th cervical cancer. I saved my life. Yeah, yeah, they sure did. Sheila Carroll has been a blessing. She really helped me. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the mission, and that's the truth. I didn't have the money, had no insurance, and uh, they recommended me to a gynecologist who seen me without any money. And it's a good thing because by the time they see me, I was so far gone, they opened a cancer on a weekend, a cancer place out there and see me. That's how bad off I was. Wonderful place, good people. Awesome. They're a great help to people in need. They really are. They help with diapers. They help with food on a daily basis if you need it. They also help with children's clothing if you need that. They're just all together, all around great people. They have a lot of help. They help basically the people that need some help with diapers, food, formula, and sorts of other things. I think it's great. I mean, for people that don't have insurance and work hard, I mean, they take good care of us here. She's given me a lot of good advice. She's going to help me quit smoking, and I appreciate her. And I've come here before and gotten food, and they're always really nice and caring, take good care of people in the neighborhood. We always tell all the volunteers that the only thing we do here is uphold each person's dignity by giving them the love of Jesus Christ. If we've done that, we've done everything. It's great, I love it. They help out a lot. They are very helpful with my kids and food, especially with the diapers. And my six month old now eats baby food and they help out a whole bunch. <laughs> and clothes, toys, walkers, everything. <laughs> They're great. They're fabulous. They're very nice, caring. They're great.
Oh, I think it's fantastic. As a matter of fact, when I was standing in line to uh, receive food at the Rose Mission, um, the lady had stopped me and says, well, we're having the mammogram van come. I think their services are fantastic. Things that uh, the nuns do here are super. I mean, they are super. I'd like to say thank you to everyone involved with the Rose Mission. Uh, you've helped me tremendously. And uh, times of dire need, you all were there for me, and I really appreciate it. I think it's a great place. Like they help people out in need. Like I have a two-year-old son, and like for any diapers or wipes or something, they'll help you out. Your food when you're in need and you don't have the money to buy the food. And I'm pregnant, so they help me with maternity clothes and stuff like that. They're they're hard workers. Like the nuns are here every day helping the community, and we can't appreciate them enough because of everything that they do for us. very caring, kind, and loving people here. I do go to their smoking session classes. In a month's time, I had quit smoking from their classes and everything, and um, it's just been a wonderful place. Very caring, like I said, it's a caring, loving family here. It's, it's a big family. Oh, they're a godsend. I, I, I don't know what I would do without them. Well, they give me um, free diabetes medicine and free um, strips to test my diabetes. And um, they're just, I just, you don't know. <laughs> I mean, I went through a lot without having no medicine at all. So I'm really happy for them. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. I mean, it is, you just, it's, there's no words, there's no words. I want a church which is poor and for the poor. We are called to find Christ in them, to lend our voice to their causes, but also to be their friends, to listen to them, to speak for them, and to embrace the mysterious wisdom which God wishes to share with us through them.